Welcome to my solar addiction. Today's video. Victron Link's power in 1000 amp bus bar. All right, guys, I want to do a quick unboxing and uh, show you how I'm going to be using the Victron power in in my system. I showed you a video recently of the Victron distributor. They come packaged pretty much the same way in a nice box. Once again, you have a sticker. This one says Victron links power in as opposed to the distributor, which was the last one we went over. And they have the ever popular instructions on how to put the sticker on in case you're putting it in upside down, which I will be doing. Once again, it is in a nice box with foam padding on the side so that we don't get it destroyed in shipping. And then it is bubble wrapped. Let's stick that on the side for now and pull it out of the bubble wrap. Ditch that. And here we go. It's the Victron Lynx Power N. And this is the M8 model, which is uh, going to tell you what size the bolts are for the lugs on the um, bus bar. This is a 1000 amp bus bar that uh, you would actually connect via these ports here. You would stack your negative and then positive on the top, just like you would on the Lynx distributor. And we can see that got this one kind of already set up to show you how I'm going to use it. If you look inside, we would see that we have our positive on the top and then the negative on the bottom. And they would come in through these ports right here on the housing. Okay. Now this one doesn't have the fusible connections. You don't have two different um, connections for your positive. Um, on this one, I've already removed this plastic part that allows for you to put these connectors in and these spacers between your positive and your negatives. And I'm going to show you why I did that in a second, but let me open this one up where I haven't taken that off so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So, as you can see, you can see the difference here. This one still has this plastic part. installed so that you can connect these spacers for the positive and negative cables but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have mine inside my wiring trough and I'm going to use these to connect two different battery banks together in parallel and then send them to the two inverters that are behind me uh, or to the two inverters I already have connected to my house, which is the Solark 15 Ks. So my goal is to actually have the ability to shift between um, having ba both battery banks in parallel, my three uh, PowerPro wall batteries, as well as my six LLV2s from EG4 and have those connected to each one of these, one going to the six uh, LLV twos will go to this one, and then the other six, uh, three Power Pro wall batteries will go to this in this power in links power in, and then I will have cables running from these lugs to each other. So that's why I left this side open and went in the middle, okay, so that I could have. A connection here and a connection here and I can do double two out but I'm actually wind up going to do double four out and the reason is is my first run for my LLV twos is already kind of long so I don't want to have any resistance and I'm going to do double four out just so that I can have a little bit more copper transmitting that energy from that point forward uh, and won't get it that voltage drop I shouldn't get any voltage drop should I say all right but um, 
Well-built bus bars, just like the distributor, it's a basically the same unit, but without the connections that would go here for your fuses. Uh, they don't have those. And I'm going to show you right now what I'm talking about. So on the Lynx distributor, as you can see, you have the fuses in between your connection to your positive bus bar and where your positive connections come in. So that's the main difference between these two units. They, you know, basically are built the same. They're, the, the housing is exactly the same, except for with a different label on it. And it just doesn't have the fusible connections. Another difference between the Victron Lynx distributor and the Victron Lynx Power N is the Victron Lynx distributor has this printed circuit board that gives it some intelligent control. And you can even see that there is a positive connection on the positive bus bar to power that board so that uh, it can tell you if your fuses are blown. And if you need a BMS, say you're building your own battery banks, buying cells and putting them together in a case and you need a BMS, Victron has a Victron Lynx BMS that could also communicate with these Victron Lynx distributors. So if you're looking for the whole package of BMS and bus bar and maybe fuses, uh, you would probably want to go with the Victron Lynx distributor. But the Victron Lynx Power N does not have that intelligent control. No printed circuit board, okay? And no positive connection for power. But it's just a nice 2000 amp bus bar, positive and negative bus bar, and a nice compact package. And uh, it's easy to use and well built. Okay? And I didn't really need that for the first stage of connecting these together. So, as I stated earlier, this one will go in here and connect these power pros together and then I'll have that connected to my Lynx distributors so like I said these are thousand amp bus bars um, it's good for expansion because you can connect them together okay which you saw on the distributor behind me and um, I'm gonna have to modify it so that I can get the cables to come out the side. I want to have double four out. I can do one connection via this. Put a bolt on here, bolt the cable on for one of the four out connections. And then the second one would come from here. And I'm getting some angled four out lugs so that it'll go down on an angle like this and then come up and come out. So I'm going to have to cut right here to create a way for it to be to stack these two negative connections on the side because my, my wiring trough isn't big enough for me to go out the top. And uh, if I would have started out, you know, thinking I was going to do this whole switching between sharing battery banks, individual battery banks, three different configurations, which I'm, I'm accommodating by doing this. Uh, I would have started off with a bigger wiring trough underneath my Power Pro batteries. I went with the 8x8. Eight eight. If I would have went by with the 10x10, 10 10, I wouldn't be having this issue. But I'm going to show you in another sh short video that I'm going to record as I do the modification, how I'm going to cut the side out uh, using a hot knife to uh, solve my problem with my cable coming out the side. And the same thing will happen on the other side because I'm going to need to come out and go to the Lynx distributors that are underneath the two 18K PVs. Okay, but I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So we're going to modify the side of this. I need to kind of cut it out like this. And I got a blade here, but I'm going to heat it up so hopefully. It'll be a little easier to do. 
and we got our butane. This bad boy up. Nice and red hot. Not pretty, but it's gonna work. I'm gonna take this outside because my wife's gonna hate this smell. Okay. Now, it wasn't pretty, but it's modified. And now, let that cool off. See when we put it on that now I can stack my connections. I have to clean it up a little bit more, but basically that was it. Okay. But I will have to take this outside because the wife will have a car. All right, so I've already modified the sides on this one so that I could pass two cables out of the side have one here and here and then another one coming out on each side so I need to do the other Victron po um, links power in I need to do the same thing so I was going to use a um, exacto blade or a um, box cutter <clears throat> utility knife to just cut it and heat up the blade with a butane flame and it got real messy even though this is not the cleanest thing on the planet it's functional is what I'm looking for from the front you won't be able to tell that much especially when it's in the wiring trough so uh, nobody's going to see that but Dave and you guys watching the video but um, I need to go ahead and modify the second one and uh, the using the flame with the uh, utility knife made the most god awful smell. Plastic burning is not a smell that my wife likes. She gets migraine headaches. So to save my marriage and to save her from a headache, I decided to use my Makita vibrating cutting tool. And it works out better, and it doesn't create a smell, and it's actually a lot quicker because you can't. I had to keep heating up the knife and cut a little bit, and then heat it up again.
But this puppy works really well, and I'm about to show you me cutting on the second Victron Lynx Power In. Okay? See that I have the sides modified so I can actually get two cables coming out of here one here here and then utilize one of those bolts close to the end for the second connection so I actually could still connect my battery here and here and not utilize these ports because of how tight my wiring trough is going to be I will go out of the side for this connection and for this one, I would go out this side. And the same thing at the bottom on the positive connections. And it didn't come out too bad. Had to do a little filing. I could still probably do a little bit more. But overall, doesn't look too bad. And like I said, from the front, if you look at both of them like this, you can't even tell looking at the front. So I'd call that a success. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for government work as we like to say. I hope you enjoyed the video on the uh, Victron Lynx Power In. And if you need the fusing capability of the distributor, please check out the video uh, that we did on the Lynx distributor because we're using both of them in this new system. And uh, you may need the pos fused positives of that Victron uh, Lynx distributor versus the, the Victron Lynx power in. So uh, make sure you know what you're doing. If you have questions, please consult an electrician. Hopefully see you next time and take care. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video.